Because Hannah prayed. That's right. Is that right? That's right. They didn't talk about singing mm -hmm. because Deborah sung. Amen. It's not talking about prophesying. No. Because Anna was a prophetess. That's right. We get the foretelling of the event that's going to come. That's, that's not preaching. That's right. It's given to a woman to prophesy. That's right. To foretell events under the inspiration of Almighty God. Amen. But when you say preach, preaching. that means you are a Bible interpreter. That's right. That means you have a divine inspiration given to you by the Almighty to interpret and break down scriptures. That's right. And God didn't give that to the woman, He gave that to the man. That's right. Listen. Let your women keep so silence. said, hold it. The Bible didn't say he gave it to the man. The Bible plainly states there is a spirit that's right. in man. In man, that's right. And the inspiration of the Almighty, of the Almighty giveth them. Yeah. Them who? The man. The man. Understand. They understand it. That's right. This is not about male chauvinism. Amen. It's about what God said. That's it. Women up preaching. Well, suppose somebody want to be baptized. Mm -hmm. That her body is going through cleansing. Amen. According to the word of God, she's not to be in water. That's right. And according to the word of God, during the time that her flowers are upon her, every place she sits and everything she touches is unclean. 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 That's right. That's right. Ah! Amen. You get what I'm telling you. Amen. Come on, son. Read on. Let your women keep silence <laughs> in the churches. Yeah. For it is not permitted unto them to speak. But what? But they are commanded. They are just gently request but they are commanded and you lying and women get up saying i know what god told me god ain't told you nothing no he didn't god ain't never told no one nothing that contradict the book that's right if god gonna tell you something that contradict the book why have the book at all that's right just throw the bible in the trash that's right that's right that's right sir. amen when god talk god talk through the scriptures that's right, that's right. God don't bring a message that contradicts the scriptures. That's right. You television preachers, you contradict the book. That's right. That's right. Don't you know the devil preachers use the Bible? Yeah, yes, they do. Don't yes, you they remember do. when Jesus was fasting? That's right. 40 days and 40 nights. He was led up by the Spirit. Amen. To be tempted mm -hmm. of the devil. Of the devil. The devil talked scripture. Yes, he did. To Jesus. That's right. That stand feet upon the rocks, for it is written. It is written. The angels will bear thee up. Mm -hmm. Now Satan used scripture with a different agenda. That's right. False prophets use scripture deceitfully. That's right. With an agenda to deceive the simple. That's right. Viewer. These preachers know you don't know the Bible. Mm -hmm. So that's why they read a scripture without divine explanation and interpretation to scriptures. And you go to church waving your hands, <coughs> feeling all nice. That's right. Foaming at the mouth. Amen. Rolling on the floor like someone sprayed you with a can of rain. That's right. You're yeah, like an untamed roach. Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. Glory to God, we're not going to spray it. We're just going to step on you. Step on and you. stop you from moving all together. <laughs> That's right. You get what I'm telling you? Let your women keep silence the in the church. The book says let your women keep silent in the churches. For it is not permitted. It is not. Not It permitted. is not. That's right. That goes for Crefler Dollar, wife, mm -hmm. and any other TV wife preacher that's on television. Not permitted. And that goes for you preachers who wives not on television. That's right. When you do it like the scriptures, no preacher wife is the first lady. Amen. That's right. She got to obey the book like everybody else. That's right. No special privileges. Amen. She's not the queen of the church. No, no. No, no. Are you listening to the old man? It is not permitted. It is not permitted speak, unto them to speak, but they, but they are, are commanded, commanded to be under obedience. As also saith what? As also saith the Lord. What about if they want to know something? And if they will learn anything. Where should they do it? Let them ask their husbands at home. Ask their husbands where? At home. How did the Apostle Paul feel about women trying to be church speakers? For it is a shame. It it's is what? a shame. Now. Notice the very first statement Brother Paul made, mm -hmm. therefore seeing we have this ministry. This ministry. Right. Now, if you had that ministry, mm -hmm. the same shame he felt, you will feel. That's right. 
That's right. Yeah. That's right. Glory to God. I said the same shame mm -hmm. that he felt, mm -hmm. but you out there, you don't have no shame. No. That's why some of you men are so timid today and act like faggots. That's because right. Because you sit under women preachers. That's right. The nature of a woman is to be feminine. Amen. But why is it when you see these women preachers, they act so masculine? Yes, they do. Talk like men, sit like men, act like men. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? It is a shame. It's embarrassing. For women to speak in the church. Now, we have this ministry. Mm -hmm. That's right. This I ministry. I have, I'm, I, I'm affected the same way. <laughs> That's right. I'm embarrassed. That's right. It's a shame. It is a shame for women to speak. When a woman speak. try to preach, some of you men, you see, you're so influenced by these television preachers, mm -hmm. you get up there and try to be a preacher, and then you let your wife have her little chair right next to you in the pulpit. That's right. That's now, they, now they take living room furniture and put it in the pulpit. Yes, they do. Have all the comforts of home. That's he right. He robbed from you comfortably. That's right. So, no, that's why, not only that, we have quite a bit of beefs with these oh, yeah. false property. Crefo dollars, just a little small needle in the haystack. That's right. All right, Dan, next letter. This letter, the email comes from Jamaica. Yes. It says, be careful how you address God's servant. Oh. oh Lord. This person says, on April the 9th, 2006, Sunday morning at 7 a.m.